Welcome to the final calculus video of my Machine Learning Foundation series. With this, I'm delighted to leave you with my favorite external calculus resources and then wrap a bow around this entire subject area. All right, so if you're keen to learn more about differential calculus, then I recommend checking out chapter six of Dysonroth et al.'s Mathematics for Machine Learning book. You can also check out 3Blue1Brown on YouTube for tons of great visual focused videos that introduce lots of different differential calculus topics. For integral calculus, I recommend the exact same resources as I recommended for differential calculus, plus Appendix 18.5 of Zhang et al.'s Dive into Deep Learning book. All right, so with that, we've wrapped up this thematic segment of videos on integral calculus. We talked about what binary classification models are. I introduced you to the not so confusing confusion matrix, which allowed us to create a receiver operating characteristic curve, also known as an ROC curve. Then in order to find the area under the ROC curve, we started learning about integral calculus itself. So we learned how to calculate integrals manually. Then we found out how to use numeric integration in Python code to integrate automatically. And we used that knowledge to find the area under the ROC curve. Then just in this video, we wrapped up with my resources for further study of calculus. So not only have we just wrapped up a segment of videos on integrals, we've actually just wrapped up an entire subject. So the Calculus 2 subject of my Machine Learning Foundation series, which is on partial derivatives and integrals. It was made up of three thematic segments. The first was a quick review of the essential introductory single variable calculus that we needed to move forward with partial derivative calculus. In the second segment, we detailed what partial derivatives are, and then we used those partial derivatives to determine gradients of the most common machine learning cost functions thereby enabling us to deeply understand how calculus enables us to fit model parameters to our training data. And only a moment ago, we completed a segment of videos on the integral branch of calculus. Remarkably, if you've been following along with all of the videos in my Machine Learning Foundation series, this means we're now done with the third and the fourth subjects of the entire eight subject curriculum. So we are halfway through all of the eight subjects now, having just now wrapped up subject four on partial derivatives and integrals. The working understanding that we now have of calculus under our belts will enable us to fully grasp all of the remaining subjects in the series, which is why they're highlighted in purple. In particular, the partial derivative calculus that we used to compute gradients in this subject will prove critical to completely understanding how gradient descent works in the eighth and final subject on machine learning optimization. Up next, however, is a subject that introduces both probability theory and information theory, which are indispensable in machine learning because all ML models are probabilistic and therefore depend on these subjects that describe and quantify uncertainty. Probability theory is so incredibly cool because it helps us understand all aspects of our life and make better decisions in the ever-present uncertainty of the processes unfolding around us in the world. Can't wait to undertake the subject with you. See you soon. To be sure not to miss the next video in this series, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking part in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and comment. To be sure not to miss any of my content, head to johncrone.com and sign up for my email newsletter. You're also welcome to add me on LinkedIn. Simply mention that you're a viewer of the Machine Learning Foundation series. And finally, you can follow me on Twitter too if that's your social medium of choice.